everyone, my name is Lovestar, welcome back to my Fairy Core Let's Play. My mod pack is finally up on CurseForge, so go check that out in the description for the link and for the tutorial on how you can install it. Besides that, today we explored some new mods that I added to the mod pack. I also built a magical tower. Oh, and we had a tragic event occur, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Be sure to subscribe and leave a like so I can make more of these videos for you. Alright, enjoy the rest of the episode! Alright guys, I hope you're all doing okay. Today I have my mushroom girl with me because we have to name her, but before that I wanted to show you that I finally figured out how to contain my spook because she's very rambunctious and also just a teensy bit annoying. Isn't that right, spook? So, <laughs> first of all, you can put her on a lead, which I literally got last episode, so I, didn't, I don't know why I didn't think of just putting her on a lead. But also, you can put her on a station carpet, so that is good to know. So she is now <laughs> just going to be chilling out here, protecting us. She's like a little spirit that's going to scare away all the monsters. <laughs> She's so cute. Alright, but anyway, we also have to name our mushroom girl. And I actually have two names that I cannot pick which one I like best. So I'm gonna combine them. I have the name Dicaria and Aria. At least I hope that's how you pronounce it. But I'm gonna combine it into one and make it Dicaria, which is just with a different spelling. But we're gonna probably call her Aria for short. But her full name is gonna be Dicaria. I hope that makes sense. But all right, so this is Arya. Arya, welcome to the family. I'm gonna have to make you a house. <laughs> She's so adorable. Hi! Oh, I just love when she waves. It's the cutest little thing. All right, so Arya, I think I'm gonna put you outside and maybe you can sunbathe a little bit because um, I don't want you to follow me around while I'm out doing dangerous things. So you can just sit here next to the sun and just, you know, relax. Maybe watch the crops grow. And yeah, so today is a pretty exciting episode because um, you guys should be able to play along with me now that I have my mod pack released. So I hope that all of that worked out for you guys. I'm super excited for you to try it and have fun with it. So let's play together for real this time. Alright, but today is also an exciting episode because I installed a few new mods. And the first thing we're gonna do today actually is try to find... Alright guys, kind of awkward. I had to like uh, pause the recording for a second and literally this tree just grew and I didn't catch it because I wasn't recording. No, but the tree, it just grew. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it is so tall. How do you even cut down such a monstrosity? But now we have that going for us. So I think I'm probably gonna have to cut this down because it's a little bit just kind of in the middle of the... <laughs> it's a bit of an eyesore by itself, but how cool is that? That's so awesome. Anyway, um, yeah, so what I was gonna say is that today the first thing we're gonna do is actually go look for some of the new creatures that is a part of one of the mods I installed called Grimoire of Gaia. Grimoire of Gaia? <laughs> um, so this is a pretty awesome mod that one of you guys recommended to me, so thank you so much for um, recommending me this mod. Actually, I see some of the mobs. They are so cool. Check this out. I think these are centaurs. I don't know if they're hostile or not, but look at that. How awesome. They're all like different. They're so pretty. They're like, like they're, ah, ah they're just so cool. They're like girls. <laughs> it, it's so awesome. Just having these like random, like people, you know, centaur people. Um, so I don't know what they do. And I don't know if they drop anything if I kill them, but I'm gonna just leave them be. We're just gonna look around and see if we find any other cool mobs. So I'm pretty excited. I think I see some more over there. And yeah, actually another thing that I wanted to really quick check before we continue is the advancements because uh, one of you told me that I can actually check the Twilight Force advancements and this is gonna kind of show me like the mod direction, like the guide. So basically, um... Uh, okay, so there's some stuff down here. We got this one, right? So defeat a red cap sapper. Uh, maybe these are the guys that drop the like little books, right? So and then these are these must be the dungeons. So I'm assuming this is going to be in order. So first we have to do the naga, um, and then there's these two. Craft both naga scale chest and leg armor, and then slay the twilight like lit lich lick. 
what, like? I, I don't know, sorry. The like thing? Okay, I have heard of those two for sure. And then we have... Uh, give the quest ram what it is missing. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the order of how we're gonna have to do all the dungeons and stuff. So yeah, this is gonna be pretty helpful. We even have like Minecraft Comes Alive and ooh, Flower Foxes, Kawaii Dishes, uh, Magic Origins. Oh, interesting. I really wonder what this means. Uh, Alright, but yeah, we also have this mod called uh, Feywild. This one is awesome. You guys are totally gonna like this one. Um, so we'll, we'll have to check that out another time. So look, there's some more centaurs. They're so cool. I want to see what else we can find. There's like a lot of like interesting like uh, kind of like elven looking creatures. And um, apparently the mod is focused on making the game a little bit more harder or more difficult, I suppose. So this is pretty awesome because I do like a challenge in Minecraft. Um, and uh, yeah, I think this mod is gonna be really interesting to explore. And probably we're gonna find some more interesting creatures underground, I would assume. And look, there's like a different type of girl here. Who are you? <gasps> you are so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at her pigtails. I, I love her. I would literally draw her. You look very beautiful. And I love you. Don't even know who you are. But, oh, she's just so cute. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I, I don't want to, I don't want to kill them. They're just too pretty to even, like, touch. Um, but yeah, let's just see. Actually, there's a lot of these, like, ruined structures. So I might just, wa might as well just check them out. And wait, what is that? Is that a lavender field over there? Oh my god, I think it is. Wait, hold on. Let me go check this out first. So I guess we're doing a little bit of exploring first. So yeah, I also installed the Aether mod and the Comforts mod. So, hold on, let me just... <laughs> no, get away. Silverfish. Silverfish! There you go. I was like, why are you not attacking me? <laughs> okay. So anyway, really quick, I wanted to say, um, I installed the Aether mod and I was introduced to the Aether, like, properly by my friend, uh, Synthwave Man. And he has a YouTube channel here where he plays Minecraft videos and I think his videos are really awesome, so you should go check him out. I'll have his channel linked in the description because he's awesome and we did a little bit- Ah! Spook, no! <laughs> I did a little bit of a collaboration with him on his channel a few weeks ago, so you, you should check that out if you want. Oh my gosh, I don't have any spectral cake. I'm just gonna run away. Off we go, bye! <laughs> um, please don't follow me, spook. Okay, anyway, yeah, so I did play the Aether with him and his friends, um, McSkeet, he's also a YouTuber, and yeah, they have- they're like a nice group of friends, they're really awesome people, so I, I encourage you guys to check them out. So I installed the Aether because actually it's really, really fun, so we're probably gonna check that out eventually, once I'm a little bit more prepared, um, because it is quite dangerous, so yeah, anyway. We're in a lavender field, how awesome is that? I literally just said, like last episode, I really wanted to find a mystic biome. And here we are, we're in a lavender field, and it's so pretty. I might as well just take a few of them uh, so we can plant them around our base. I really need to like fix up my bedroom because it's really plain right now inside. But, ooh, check around the trees. Oh my gosh, wait, this is perfect. Okay, so one thing that I wanted to build this episode, oh my gosh, what are you? <gasps> oh, I think this is from uh, the Gaia mod. Why are you making that noise? Wow, that is incredible. <gasps> oh, hey, they're little Manchigoras. But oh my gosh, this bee girl, that is so cool. I really am like scared to kill them. I am very curious on what they dropped. But anyway, sorry for getting so distracted, guys. There's just so many new things here. Um, to explore. So yeah, anyway, one thing that I wanted to build today was actually a suggestion by a viewer. Oh, whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you? And Are you giving me nausea? Oh, hold on. Oh no, oh no, we're not doing this. We're not doing this, girl. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Please die. Oh my god, why is she not dying? Oh my god. <gasps> that scared me. Oh my gosh. What? What is this? New chapters? Taproot. Wait, is there a book for the mod? Grimoire? Ah, uh, Grimoire of Gaia. How do you get this? <gasps> oh, we have to make a actual grimoire. That is so cool. 
wow, there's actually a lot of books here. Okay, one thing we definitely need to make is a library. And so yeah, what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted was that one of my viewers suggested me to make a magic tower um, right in, like next to the Twilight Forest portal, which I think is such a cool idea. That would be like really cool to have like a, a monumental kind of structure um, for the Twilight Forest portal. So I'm probably going to make it like nearby, um, but not exactly right next to the portal so it's still a bit of a secret but like if you look you can find it kind of thing so yeah i'm gonna make a oh hello oh hi hi zombie no she <laughs> oh i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i killed you oh poor sheepy he got in the way he tried to defend that zombie but yeah so yeah today we're gonna be working on a build and i want to make it actually look pretty good. So one thing that I need is a few building materials. Hi, Creeper. We're gonna go ahead and get back home. Um, I'm gonna actually- hold on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, I'm actually- whoa, what is that? Oh no, that's definitely a, a hostile mob. I can just- I can just tell. Give me some more saplings, please. I need to get out of here. Oh, she's coming. Oh my god. <gasps> she's fast. She's fast. She's fast. Oh my god. No. No, 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 get away. What is that? Holy shit. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, she's so fast. I'm running away, I'm running away, I'm running away. I should not have gone out at night. Okay, we are running for our lives. And where's my water? I don't have a water bucket. Where's my water bucket? Oh my god. Help. Help. Help, 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 help. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. No, 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 no. Please. Oh my god. Oh, uh, do I have any freaking okay i need to eat the bread eat the bread eat the bread <gasps> oh she's fighting the skeleton oh my god oh my god she's lighting him on fire okay yeah we're out of here bye i <sighs> okay wow um this mod definitely sure adds some difficult difficulty oh my god <gasps> why is she still follow no way no freaking way dude oh i'm so scared i don't like being chased don't chase me <laughs> okay um anyway i was saying that we need to collect some resources and one thing that i need is a type of wood for the roof and probably um i don't know some sort of like brick thing for the actual tower structure is she still following me okay i think we're good dude that was so scary i hate being chased oh my gosh that was really scary <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> okay I think we're safe. What? Oh, it's a skeleton with a freaking maid dress. Oh, give me your maid dress. I want to wear it. Wah. Die. No. Die. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes. Yes. He gave me thigh highs. <laughs> I wish they were a little bit more um, better. Because <laughs> they're not as good as iron. But they're really cute. I have blue little thigh highs. Woohoo. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sleep so we don't die, but anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was really stressful. Yeah, so we're gonna have to get some resources today. Alright, so I, first of all, let me plant this jacaranda on the tree so we can start uh, farming them. I'm gonna use this purple wood that they give us because it is so pretty and we needed to- Ah! What the f- What is that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's like a tiny bird girl thing. What the heck? Hello? Oh, she's dead. What is going on? Um, what did she drop? I think just nuggets. Or? I don't know. I'm scared. I'm really scared. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna um grow these jacaranda trees because this tower is gonna be very magical and awesome and I want it to be a little bit colorful. So we're gonna use this purple wood as the roof and I'm probably gonna use like oak for the accent and yeah, so basically what I need to figure out is what kind of um brick I want to use. I, I want to use like a white brick. So is that like a thing? We could use diorite. Diorite looks pretty good in this texture pack. So I think I'm gonna probably do that. That's probably gonna be the easiest method anyway. So, okay, we're gonna have to go mining-ish kind of for some diorite and get some oak wood and farm some jacaranda trees. All right, let me put away this stuff. I'm gonna just, oh wait, this headband. Oh, you can't see it because of my, 
because of my hat. Oh yeah, speaking of hats, I will open my hat bags. Don't worry. Let's go see what this what's inside. Ooh, camera head. Interesting. Okay, where did I have my other hat bags? Okay. Did I have more? Uh, um, I don't remember if I have- Oh, there we go. Let's go open these. Ooh, a candle. What is that? Camera beard. Interesting. Okay. Well, you know what? Why, why don't we just switch it up for this episode and wear a candle? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of cute. Okay, we'll take off our Kirby and wear this candle on our head, even though there's like fire particles around me, which is a little bit annoying, but it's okay. All right, so I need some bone meal, actually. I need to get a lot of this jacaranda tree. Um, I would go back to the actual lavender field, but I'm a little bit scared now, so <laughs> I'm just gonna stay away. All right, 26 bone meal should be enough. Um, I'm also gonna plant these lavenders. I think they're super pretty. So where can we put them? Uh, maybe around our treehouse a little bit. So we have a little bit of purple, my favorite color. Okay, that's cute. All right, now we can grow some trees. So I'm gonna have to collect some of these books that I'm getting and I'm thinking if I should make this like magic tower that I'm making into like some sort of library. Um, I think that's what um, the person who recommended this build to me actually wanted me to do. So actually that could be a good idea but I hope that the tower will be big enough. Honestly I'm not really sure um, what I'll do yet in this regard but we'll figure it out. I definitely do need a library that's for sure. And actually, I kind of want to make that grimoire before I forget. So while I'm waiting for these leaves to decay, I'm going to go ahead and do that so we can start collecting all these books. And another thing that I got since I installed the Feywild mod, um, I also got the book that you spawn with for the Feywild mod. So this is the lexicon and this is basically the guide. So we have like a bunch of stuff here. I don't know anything about this mod. I literally <laughs> learned about it just the other day, but I thought that it looked so cool and literally perfectly fitting for this um this playthrough. So we just need to make a book. Where is the books? Here it is. Okay. I think this is how you make the grimoire. Awesome! Oh my gosh. <gasps> Yay! There's so many guides! Awesome! Okay, cool. I'm gonna not read this right now <laughs> but this is where I'm just keeping all my books and we're, we're gonna have to move it for sure so um you know what maybe I can just move them now we can put them in here so we have a lot of books very important books and we're probably gonna get more so library is definitely very important oh my gosh <gasps> look oh I know what you are you're a dryad whoa Oh, you're so pretty. Oh my gosh. Wow. I love these models. They're so cool. Wow, I don't know what you do. Hey, if I had my grimoire in my inventory right now, I'd be <laughs> I'd be looking you up. But you know what? I put it away. How inconvenient for me. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and farm some of this wood and I will be back. Of these girls spawned. I do wonder what she does. Oh my gosh, maybe I should get the grimoire and actually look it up. Okay, I got my grimoire. Um, let's see if this will actually tell us anything about them. So, where where did the, uh... I wonder if the dryad is still here. Let's see. I'm really interested about her. Hmm, she might have wandered off. <gasps> oh, but the bee girl. Oh, there's two of them actually. Well, let's go look them up. All right, so let's see, what could they be? Oh, honeybee. Oh, okay. The honeybee is a flying creature that spawns in the overworld. 
It is immune to poison and falling damage. If provoked, the honeybee will retaliate with ranged attacks before leaping into melee with attacks that can have strong knockback. Attacking a honeybee angers all others in the area, similar to the zombie pigman. Very interesting. So they can drop honeydew on death. These are a decent source of food and provide 20% speed and haste buff for 10 seconds. They can drop an iron box on death, which can be right clicked while in hand to open and receive a random tool, weapon, or armor piece made of iron. Alternatively, it can be smelted in a furnace to create crystallized experience. That is so interesting. Oh my gosh. I, I'm not gonna kill them because then both of them will go after me and that sounds very scary, but you know what I'm gonna do? I think we need to kill at least one of those Grimoire of Gaia mobs because I'm very curious. So let's see, what, what else? We know about the centaur. Let's see, do they drop anything? They can drop leather or iron nuggets, iron box or sealed quiver. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what about the dryad? We can drop a taproot. These are insignificant source of food, but remove negative effect statuses and dark oak logs. Iron nuggets and iron boxes. And a dryad doll? <gasps> oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh. So the satyrus is that other girl we saw. So what does she drop? Meat? Iron box? And that's it. Okay, so I honestly don't think the drops are very much... Whoa, there's mermaids? Dude, that is so pretty. Oh my god, I hear a zombie. Hi! Can Spook attack? Spook! Get him, Spook! Spook! Yeah, Spook, get him! Get him, Spook! Beat him up! Oh, come on, Spook. That's it? Oh, he's so gonna die. Oh my gosh. Oh, there he goes. That is so awesome. Okay, I need to take Spook with me when I'm going out at night because she's like a good guardian. Uh, she'll keep those mobs away from me, so I wonder... I'm gonna take a little bit of a risk here and try to kill one. One of these Gaia mobs. See if they drop anything interesting. Ooh, there's another skeleton up there with the uh, maid dress on. Not so interested in that right now, though. I want to see if I can kill a... Maybe a centaur. I don't know, something. Oh, oh, what is that? Oh my gosh. Oh no, there's two of them. Spook, please, you have to help me. Spook, you have to help me. Spook, please. Please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why is she running away? Dude, that is so much HP. New chapters unlocked in the Grimoire of Gaia. Let's try to kill this. Oh, there we go. Whoa, I don't know what that was. They dropped meat. I can't even eat it. That is very interesting. I don't know who that was. Um, I can try looking it up. Let me stop by the village. Wow, there's a lot of like hostile mobs that spawn at night with this mod. So we're going to have to be really careful. I feel like going into the caves are going to be super scary now. Oh, here, you know what? Let me check on Grover. Grover! Hi, Grover. He's He's been staying here the entire time. Maybe he should just um, move freely. Where is your mother, Grover? What is that? Oh! Are you hostile? You definitely look hostile. Oh my gosh. Spook! Kill her, Spook! Oh my god, please, Spook. Do something. Oh my god, please. Why is she not attacking? Oh my god. Ugh. Maybe she doesn't real realize it's a mob. Oh my god! No way, no way, no way. No way. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Do arrows go through her? What is that? Hold on. Hunter? No. What is that thing? So these are what I killed. A werecat. Mandragora. Oh, there's another type of mandragora. Harpy? Okay. What about- Oh, because I didn't kill her yet. Okay. Um, hello? Ah! No, the arrows go through her! Freak you! That's so unfair! I'm gonna die. Ah! Ah! No! Oh, you suck. That's so unfair. I can't even shoot her. How am I supposed to kill her? Ah! Oh my gosh. This mod is actually really difficult. I can't believe Spook didn't even help me. 
I don't think she realizes that they're like hostile mobs or something. I don't know. Maybe it's because they're modded, but that is so stupid. Spook, I thought you were supposed to- I thought you were supposed to protect me, Spook. Not cool. She just watched me die. Is she still there, that woman? Okay, I think she's gone. I didn't even get to kill her. Well, this sucks. Okay, I guess I, uh, I failed at killing her. So, I'm gonna just run away. Let's continue working on the, um, the magic tower. That's gonna be the main objective of this episode anyway. Hi, centaur! I'm so glad you're not hostile. <laughs> Is that a werecat? Oh, no. Why are you here? Why are you here? It's not nighttime? Oh my gosh, Spook, please! Please, Spook. Oh my god. You are so useless. Okay, well, at least she's not as bad as those other women with the axe. But look, there's some of the satirises. Should I kill her? Ooh, I kind of want to kill her just because I'm curious. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh my god, Spook! Yes, kill her! Please, Spook, help. Help, help, help. Spook, please. Please. Come on, you know, you know you can do it. You know you can do it. Oh, she's she's trying to heal herself. Oh, hell no, girl. Wait, did she die? The other one? Where'd she go? She must have fell to her death. That's interesting that they were drinking potions. That is so cool. Okay, so what did I get? Meat and more iron nuggets. Okay, so nothing too crazy. I know it wasn't going to be worth killing them, but I, I just kind of wanted to. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm just very curious. But anyway, I need to get some more of this wood and maybe we'll have enough by the end of this tree. And I'm gonna have to go get some diorite. So we're gonna mm, probably try to find a cave opening somewhere. Alright, um, I'm gonna put Spook back so she doesn't come with me. Okay, Spook. Eh, you can stay right here. Let me clear my inventory first and plant this. So I'm going to take one of these amethyst deceivers with me in my inventory because um, they're actually going to be like a big health boost, I think. So next time I'm, <laughs> you know, about to die, I can actually use it. But anyway, now I have a little bit more space in my inventory, so we're going to try to find some diorite. Um, but you know what? While we're looking for a cave, we can do a little bit of exploring. And, you know, I'm really waiting for us to find some other type of mushroom girls. So we can try to look for that too. Um, I'm probably gonna go... Mm, we can probably just go this way and see what we find. There's just so much to explore here. Oh, and by the way, there's like two new more dimensions that I added to the mod pack. Since we have um, the Aether, that's a new dimension. And we have um, Feywild, which is also a new dimension. That is super cool. So um, I think you need to make some sort of like teleportation orb to access the dimension. Um, so yeah, I honestly don't know how the mod works. Um, if you guys have any tips, leave them down below, of course. Help me out here because there's just so many mods that I need to learn. And it's a little bit overwhelming. But the bright side is we'll have a lot of content to play with for a very long time. So yeah, I'm really excited to keep on playing on this series. I would love to just play it on my own time, but I want to record it for you guys too. So yeah, I know if I played it on my own time, I would be literally on for like five hours a day nonstop, and that would not be very good for me. So okay, there's two more bees here. Oh, Mandragoras. Oh, oh, how cute. I think they're still one of my favorites. They're just too cute. Too freaking cute. Alright, I totally forgot I was looking for a cave opening. I don't even know if I passed one yet, but let's see if there's anything right here. Um, that's not diorite, that's granite. Oh! <gasps> a dryad! Hi! Okay, so according to my grimoire... So what does she drop? She drops taproot and dark oak. I mean, I can try getting one of these iron boxes. Ooh, or the doll. <sighs> I don't want to kill her, but I kind of want the drops. I'm so sorry for being very evil. I'm- <laughs> I'm very sorry. I'm very, very sorry. That bee scared me. I thought she was gonna attack me. Uh, okay. She didn't even drop a doll. Um, it sounds like it's probably gonna be a rare drop, so I don't know. Um, but another thing that I installed was the comforts mod. I think I already mentioned that. 
But speaking of which, I should pro- oh, Whoa, 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 hello? Oh no, I'm so sorry. Are you mad at me because I killed your friend? Oh, she's literally just slapping me. But she does kind of- <laughs> She does quite a lot of damage. Okay. So she dropped more taproot. What does this do? Oh, I think it clears negative effects, so I don't need to use that. Alright, so anyway, I was gonna say I wanted to make a sleeping bag. So we just need wool. And then we can dye it. Cool. So I guess we're gonna have to try to look for some sheep too. What is that? Whoa! Oh my gosh. It's a strawberry fields! <gasps> oh my goodness, look how beautiful! And there's a village over there. I didn't expect this to be so close. Oh my god, this is so cool. We can get pink wood now, but there's only like two trees here, so I don't really want to cut them down. Um, but I can totally grab some strawberries. Let's do a little bit of berry picking here. Ooh, yay! Oh my gosh, I love doing this in Minecraft. It is so satisfying. Oh! Oh, hi! Oh, aren't you just the cutest little thing? You are so tiny. Hi! Oh! If only I had some rotten flesh, I could tame you. Okay, it's turning nighttime, so we can try to kill a zombie. But then this is gonna be really risky because, um, the evil girls will spawn, and I don't want to deal with that. So we're gonna have to try to find some sheep so I can make a- Oh, look, I have one wool. So if I find two more- Oh my god, okay. Big, big, big sidetrack. So we need to kill sheep. I have shears. So maybe there's some at the village, or- Oh wait, village. I can just sleep in the bed. Okay. Never mind, we can just sleep at the bed. I'm gonna grab one of them. And look, there's some strawberry cows! <gasps> wait, 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 wait. I know what I'm gonna do. Yay! Thank you! I got some strawberry milk. And you know what you can make with strawberry milk? You can make a strawberry cake. But I need three of those, so I guess I don't have enough for that. Whoa! Oh, that's just a villager. I was like, what kind of girl? Okay. There's a lot of girls in this mod pack. There's like mushroom girls, monster girls. Gaia of Grimoire girls or Grimoire of Gaia so let's grab a little bed thank you very much so sorry for stealing your property but I need to sleep I just need to kill one zombie and then I am skipping the night because I'm very scared right now <laughs> okay let's see can we find a zombie this is gonna be the one night where we cannot find a single zombie I just know it because that's how Minecraft works there's even a mushroom house over there so we can probably you know what I need the arrows um, and the mushrooms So I might as well just loot it and see What I can find Oh, I could have just slept here. Wait, why is it so dark? Oh, it's water. Oh, no It's all ruined. I'm sorry guys. Oh look some more iron. <gasps> Wait, if I oh I have an idea three buckets in my inventory. You know what that means I can make three strawberry milk buckets and that means we can make a strawberry cake. I think that'll be really awesome. That's like a little celebration for our build, maybe, if we finish it today. Um, I would like to finish it this episode, but this episode might be a little bit longer. We'll see. Um, I always <laughs> kind of worry that my episodes are too long, but I have a feeling you guys won't mind if they're a little bit long, since you seem to be enjoying the series very much. And I honestly really like long Minecraft episodes. I think they're fun. So, okay. I still don't see any zombies. Um, I'm actually going to grab my sh my knife here. Because if I do see a zombie, I want to guarantee the drop of a, a rotten flesh. I'm not sure if the knife actually works for hostile mobs. But I'm just going to assume so. And here is my next victim. Oh, please don't fall in there. Ugh. Die. Die. Yes! Oh my gosh. Perfect. So, do they need, like, only one? Or do I need to probably find multiple? Well, I don't know. But let's go and find out. I'm gonna grab a few more strawberries. Because these are a really easy food source. So I might as well just grab some. Oh man. Oh no. Oh, I keep missing my shots. Oh god, oh, you did not just see that. You did not just see that. Do not talk about my aim, okay? We're not talking about my aim! Ugh. Oh, why am I so bad? I'm out of arrows. God damn it. No, no, no. Please don't kill me. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh god. What was I thinking? I'm running away from you, spider. Please do not bother me. 
I need to find that mushroom girl and sleep already. This is ridiculous. Okay, please still be there. Please, 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 please still be there. I hear her. <gasps> yes, here. No, I need more run of flesh. God damn it. Okay, um, let's go into the forest. And I'm gonna try to tame, s I mean, <laughs> not tame. I'm gonna try to kill some zombies over here. Maybe, I don't know. Please tell me there's some zombies. This is the thing with playing with so many mods is that I get so sidetracked. I'm so sorry. <laughs> there's just too many things to do and I wanna do them all at the same time. I just can't help myself. This, this mod pack is just too much fun. And I hope you guys, if you did install it, I hope you're enjoying it. And if you did play it, please tell me what your experience was with it. I would really like to know what you've been up to. And if you want to send like a picture, you can message me on my Instagram. My DMs are open. So if you want to tell me about your experiences with the mod or send a screenshot or something, please do because I'd love to see what you guys do with this mod pack. I'm just so excited to have you all play on it. A lot, a lot, a lot of you were asking me, where can I get the mods? How do I download the mod pack? Is it available anywhere? And now it finally is. So you're welcome. <laughs> just kidding. Actually, thank you guys for letting me know how I can actually publish it because I didn't know that I could just publish it directly on CurseForge without having to ask the mod creators. So that is super awesome. Because, you know, I, I want to make sure that whatever sort of, like, um, other, like, people's creative work I use in my videos, I credit it properly, so that was kind of my worry with it. But, yeah, so we got that all taken care of. And I see no zombies. Why are there no zombies? Okay, I'm gonna find those strawberry cows. Hi, creeper. Oh, no. Don't blow up. I don't want you to blow up this place. It's too pretty. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my god, that's a big freaking cave opening. But this is probably where we can find some uh, diorite. Okay, so I'm gonna dump this water. Eh. Dump! Dump! No! Oh, oh no, it's you again! Oh my gosh, please, 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 please get away from me. <gasps> Where's my food? Oh wait, Amethyst Deceiver, go! What? Oh my god, it didn't work! Did it trick me? Oh no 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 Hold on where 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 gimme 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 Is it like a chance now? Did they nerf it? Oh my god I've been deceived I've been deceived Oh my gosh I thought it was supposed to be a health buff Okay if I can try to kill her in the water No not the skeleton god damn it Oh this is so bad You need to die You need to die okay now you need to die. Please die. Why do you have so much health? I'm so scared. Oh, there's a skeleton right there if I attracted him. Oh! Whew. Okay. That was terrifying. That was actually really terrifying. She dropped an axe. Um. Oh, it's a stone axe. Dude, that, does, that did so much damage. She almost two-shot me. Holy crap. Okay. I hate those girls. Those are the worst. Absolutely the worst. And for some reason, she was like immune to arrow attacks, which is ridiculous because that's my main- that's my- oh, what is that? Oh god, no! Oh, I just want to make some freaking strawberry cake and tame a mushroom girl and I can't even do that. Oh, this freaking game, dude. Let's just- oh my god, leave me alone! Leave me alone! I don't like this. I don't like you. Get away. Frick's sake, man. Okay. Give me your freaking milk. Give me. Alright. I... <laughs> I I just want to tame a mushroom girl, goddammit. Ugh, but you know what? Now I'm gonna actually stay in this area because um I need to get some diorite and I might as well just go into that big-ass cave opening that I found. So... Any zombies? Question mark? I guess I could come back. Like, I can grab some more rotten flesh from my chest. Uh, I might as well just do that. I'll go back home, get some rotten flesh, and then I'll have to come back. Oh my gosh. This... <laughs> oh no! No, 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 no. Stay back, stay back, stay back. Stay back, stay back, stay back. I should have brought Spook. I really should have brought Spook. Maybe I should just not... Oh my god. I should just not let Spook, like... Uh, get away- like, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is I should just take her with me. I'm gonna die again. 
So we're gonna do a little bit of the, uh, there we go. Okay, that's, that's the strategy, is to hit them by their feet underwater. <laughs> and I'm out of food. I only have some strawberries. Which, to be fair, for being like an infinite food source, essentially, it's pretty good. So, okay, I'm like so scared right now. Um, we need to go back home, grab some more food, um, probably put away our strawberry milk. Oh my god, that's a lot of bees. Wow. And we need to grab the rotten flesh, tame the mushroom girl, and then uh, I should probably take Spook with me. Oh god, there's just so much to do, guys. So little time. Okay. Hi, mushroom guy. Do you want some mushrooms? Let me see if he gives me anything. Ooh, what is that? Ooh. Oh, it's a bomb. Oh, boy. I'm gonna use these bombs on those freaking Gaia girls. Yes, I am. The next time I'm getting ambushed, you're gonna explode! <laughs> Sorry, I get a little bit worked up. Okay, Spook, you're coming with me. I'm scared without you. Please. <laughs> There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. Spook, you're like only half helpful, but I'll take the help I can get. All right. Let me put some stuff away. Clear my inventory. Okay. So these, these deceivers, I don't know what the heck is up with that. I thought they were supposed to like heal you, but I guess they changed it. So now it's like a chance. Kind of sucks because I was counting on it to actually help me, but it didn't. So, that's a little bit awkward. Alright, let's go back. We need to, um, oh yeah, I'll put the milk away too. And I actually need food. Ugh, okay. So I have an idea. Um, I can probably get some eggs here, right? Hello? Any eggs? Why are you guys all huddled up there? God damn it. Freaking chickens. Freaking chickens. Alright, hold on. Um... Let me breed you. Let me breed these chickens. What? Where's my seeds? So I'm gonna breed those chickens, and I think I'm gonna make a, uh, s what's it called? Um, the cooking stove thing from Farmer's Delight, and we're gonna make some fried eggs. So we just have- uh, uh, Let me out! Oh god, okay. So we can have a little bit of a food source. Eggs are pretty easy food source, so we need to make a, uh, like a cooking? No. It's a stove? Yes. Okay, campfire bricks. Oh god, okay. Um, maybe I have some clay. Let's go check. I only have 12 clay balls. Ah, so we're gonna have to go find some more, but... Oh my gosh, everything is such a side quest. Alright, um, let's go see... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go actually where the Twilight Forest portal is because there was a lot of water over there, so I'm gonna assume that there's probably gonna be clay under the river or something like that. Oh, there's a little bit over here, right? This is clay. Yay! Okay, I only need a little bit, so... Oh, this is stone. Okay. Oh, hi, Axolotl! Oh no, spook! going oh my gosh she's going off into a little cave adventure underwater i i guess she's invinc invincible so she <laughs> she can just kind of that's so funny spook are you okay are you gonna drown yeah looks like she's completely invincible she just doesn't take any damage which is pretty awesome There's actually a rare type of spook that you can get, which is like the pink spook. So it's the peach type of spook, which is like a rare drop, I'm assuming. And I really want it because they're so cute. <laughs> but I, it's a risk opening those urns because if it's a spook, they're hostile. So yeah, I don't really know. I would love to get one though, because a pink spook sounds so adorable. I'm gonna make another furnace so we can smelt this up a little bit faster. There's a lot of things I can cook with Farmer's Delight, but I'm kind of just like, I can't even focus on that right now because I have so many other things to do. So we also need a campfire. Um, how do we make that? I always forget. Okay, logs. Oh, I can actually do it. Yay! And then what else? Iron? Okay, I can totally do that. I think it's like this. 
Yay! We have a stove, guys! Okay, let's put it right here. And now, watch and learn. Cooking some eggs. Let's wait for them to cook. Come on. <gasps> yes! Woohoo! Scrambled, or not scrambled, <laughs> fried eggs. Okay, we can cook a little bit more. The sun is gonna set. So, I... Yeah, I probably will sleep through the night. Because I think 14 rotten of flesh should be enough to tame our little uh, us other mushroom girl. I'm not sure what type of variant she is, but I'm very excited to get another mushroom girl. And you know what? I can actually make a, uh, like a skillet now. Yay! So if you don't know, skillets are pretty awesome because they're a weapon and they're a cooking utensil. So I think, um, I'm not actually sure how to use it. Uh, I'm not sure if the sh if the stove is gonna work. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hello! Oh my God! No! Spook killer! Killer spook! Oh my gosh! No! These girls are bad because they, they give me nausea. I'm sorry if that makes you dizzy, guys. Here, I'll open. The <laughs> okay. Damn, that's annoying. Okay. Anyway, I think you have to cook the uh the the, the skillet like over a campfire or like a lava or something. So here, can I make another one? Um, what am I missing? Sticks. Okay, I can make some sticks. Let's make a campfire. Um, I'll cook some more eggs. And we're just gonna put it, like, here, I guess. Okay, let's try to cook an egg. I think it's something- Ah! Ah! How do you- How do you- I'm not sure how to- Um... Okay, that <laughs> that didn't work. Hold on. Uh, use your other hand to hold ingredients. Oh! <gasps> oh my god, that's so cool. Oh, yay! That worked. We got another fried egg, I think. Portable cooking. Okay, so look at me. I'm frying an egg. Oh, oh my god, spook. <laughs> she pushed me. Dude, that is so awesome. I mean, it's quite inconvenient, um, but it, because it's not very fast, but that's so cool. Oh, I just threw an egg. Oops. Okay. I'm gonna cook these. And you know what? I'll just leave these five um, in the chest. So let's go sleep and we'll pick those up in the morning and then we can go ahead and get some diorite and tame that mushroom girl. Speaking of which, um, you know what? I might as well take Arya with me because um, I think I need to, you know, bond with her a little bit. She's new to the family. So, come on, Arya. Let's go to um, do a little bit of exploring together and I'll take Spook with us just because I like Spook. Honestly, she's cute. Alright, let's get these eggs and let's go on an adventure, you girls. Come on. You're coming with me. And Arya, you get to meet a new mushroom girl. So that's pretty exciting. Oh! No, 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 no. Oh my god, why do you exist? Why do you exist? Oh, Alexander, please help me. Oh, you freaking useless, useless villager. I, I have a feeling that some of the villagers died because I, I haven't seen them in a while. But anyway, is she still following me? Okay, I think, I think she's gone. Dude, I, I don't like those girls. What are they called? Um, where's my grimoire? Oh, it's right here. So, I think I have her unlocked now. So, she's a Minotaurus. I hate you. I hate you. <gasps> Book bag. Ooh. <gasps> That's so fun. Book of combat. That's very interesting. Oh my gosh. So, she, ha she actually has some interesting drops. Uh, Grover? Hi, Grover. Where's your mom? Bro, he's getting neglected. I feel so bad for Grover. Um, I just... There's, like, no villagers here. This sucks. Um, whoa! <gasps> oh! They just killed a koi fish! And ate it. Well, that is very interesting. I know that these, um... What are, what are they? Like, uh... Oh god, what are they called? Well, those creatures that I totally forgot the name of. They, um... They have some sort of thing that they do. I, I looked it up, but I totally forgot. Um, but they're supposed to be do- they're supposed to do something quite interesting. And what is this? I think this is an anthill. 
I am staying away from the anthills because they spawn very, very bad ants. Anyway, so yeah, um, from the- those, uh, otters. There we go! Otters. I, I can't believe I forgot the name of those. Um, the otters, they are from the Critters and Companions mod, which is a very cute mod. That's also where the koi fish come from, if you're curious. Um, so they all have sort of like special characteristics and things that they do, but I just completely forgot what they were. But yeah, I want to look into that and maybe tame them? I'm not sure. So I know that the koi fish, if they're in a group, they give you luck. And the otters, I think they can find you like treasure or something like that. And there's also dragonflies, which you can tame and give dragonfly armor, which is so cute. It's like, that is just so bizarre, like armor for a dragonfly, but I love that. Um, okay, so where's the mushroom girl? Please tell me she's still here. <gasps> hey! Hey, hey! I have some runner flesh for you. Eat! Yee! Oh! Hi, you're so adorable. You're so tiny and small. She is so adorable. Oh, she looks like a little fruit, like a um, a marmalade or something. I don't know. She's just very cute. Okay, well, anyway, now we have like a huge, <laughs> a gang of monster girls with us. So let's go into this cave. I feel a little bit more safe with them around, honestly. Um, that skeleton is going to be trouble. Here, let me grab some arrows. Try to kill him. Eh. No, I missed. Why am I so bad at aiming in Minecraft? Okay. Um, so, okay, there's diorite right here. We don't even need to go too far deep into the cave, which is good. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and mine this and... <laughs> Look at all of them. <laughs> Hi, girls! Look, this enderman has a little flat- Oh! dance party he's holding a little tulip that's so cute oh do you have a date buddy <laughs> it's like a little party in here okay i finally broke my pickaxe so how much did we get we got one two three and a half stacks pretty decent um i think i'm gonna actually do i have any iron with me oh oh no Ari, are you okay here take some run of flesh there you go girl um i'm gonna probably uh get some more but let's just start working on this for now and we can come back if we need more so i'm gonna actually turn this into polished diorite because this looks way better than the unpolished diorite okay there we go all right, so we have two and a, four and a half stacks. That's probably not going to be enough, but I want to start working on the tower already, so let's see what we can do. I hope you guys don't mind that this episode is a little bit longer. Um, let me know if you do prefer that, actually. At least maybe once in a while. Um, also, um, I wanted to mention that I was thinking of maybe live streaming this series sometimes. I don't know if you guys would be up for that or not, um, but yeah. I've been talking about doing live streams already for a few videos now, but I think it would just be really fun to try. Oh no! No! Get away! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! No! 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 Wait! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, let's go home. Holy shit. What? I totally forgot that they attacked mobs. Those mushroom girls. They didn't stand a chance against the Gaia girls. Guys, I'm actually heartbroken right now. Holy shit. These are all that's left of them. Are these little mushrooms? Oh my gosh. I'm so sad. I'm actually so sad. Oh, Aria, an unnamed mushroom girl. 
Oh my gosh, we have to make a freaking funeral. I'm so sad. Like, genuinely. Oh my god, I love them. My little mushroom girls are dead. What? Hello? Oh, what the f- What? 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 Oh my god. They would have- If they didn't die by that Mandragora, they would have died to that f thing. What is that? Oh my gosh. Are you serious? <gasps> she- The- 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 The thing! The- The Iron Golem killed her! Does she actually break anything? Or does she just do like- Whoa. Iron Golem. Thank you. Holy crap. Do you need any, like, health? There we go. Okay, I do not want you to die, so just- Okay, he's full health. Okay, I was not expecting to uh, see a blowing up pink thingy, but good to know that those exist. I am slowly regretting <laughs> installing this mod. Not actually, but it's just really scary. Oh! <laughs> oh, you remind me of Arya. Oh, crap. Dude, I'm so sad that they died. I, I need to not take them with me because... They they attack mobs and they're not they're not gonna stand a chance against these Gaia girls like seriously. <sighs> oh my gosh, that poor unnamed mushroom girl didn't even last a whole episode. I'm so sad. Freaking zombies! Oh my god, now they're zombies. Of course, now that now that I'm not looking for them, <sighs> should I just? tame another one. I kind of want to, but now I feel really sad and like guilty. Hey, do you want to be Arya? Like Junior? Arya? <laughs> oh. Daikaria, aka Arya. I guess you're gonna be her junior. Her daughter, perhaps? I don't know. <laughs> but welcome. Welcome Arya Junior. I- I'm just so sad. Like, <laughs> I wish it didn't happen. <sighs> okay, well, hi, and welcome to the family. I'm sorry, this is like such a bad timing for you to join, but like, you're just so cute. And I still love you. I love all the mushroom girls around here, so. Um, we're gonna have to make a little funeral, though, because there's no way that <sighs> we can go on without grieving, guys. This is like, genuinely tragic. So... I can't believe we're gonna have to make a cemetery already. Okay, there's a werecat over there. Let's go sleep. At least Mandragora is safe. I need to take her with me to the funeral. Where is she? <gasps> there you are. No! Stay back. Oh my god, wait. I really hope Mushroom Girl doesn't attack her. Arya? <gasps> Arya, no! Arya, wait, wait, wait. Arya, Arya, Arya. Arya, oh my god. You freaking... You're insane. You're actually insane. Don't you dare. She was... Literally going crazy. Where did that girl go? Did she run away? Oh, where are you going? Hey, come back here. Oh, oh, god damn it. You know what? Fine. Run away. Run away, yeah. That's what I thought. Where do we put these gravestones? Maybe here. With all these pretty flowers. Maybe under the mushroom. Oh, guys, I'm so sad. <laughs> Maybe under here. There's a little bit more room. Okay. Arya, can you just not be crazy? Um, wait. I need to grab my Jagora. I need to grab all my pets and the girls. Come on, my <sighs> Let's get Yuna. Come on, Yuna. This is a very sad day. I'm actually going to take this mossy cobblestone because it looks a little bit nicer. Use it to make their graves.
Here lies Dicaria, the ink cat mushroom girl. And now she's just a little baby mushroom. I don't even know what type of mushroom girl she was, but she was really cute too. Oh, I can't even place her freaking- Oh, okay, hold on. I have an idea. Okay, I made a little pot for her. Oh. <sighs> well, they're just mushrooms now. They're no longer mushroom girls. I'm really sorry that I let you two die. <sighs> well, we have Arya too here. <laughs> um, I honestly love the name Arya too much to uh, give her a different one, so I'm just gonna call her Dicaria Jr. Arya for short. <laughs> Arya! You cannot be attacking these freaking Gaia girls, okay? Look at what happens. I've learned my lesson. I'm not gonna take these mushroom girls with me anymore. Only Spook because she's invincible. Everyone else needs to stay at home. Because they're crazy. They're actually insane. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Everyone, let's go back. Get back. Get back to work. Get back to schedule, okay? I'll let, um, Manjigora, she can sit here. Have a little bit of sun. I feel bad for putting her in her room all day. And you, Arya, you can sit with her. You guys just have a little chat and maybe grieve together. I don't know. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go work on the, uh, the tower now. Anyway, I was genuinely really sad about that, so I'm sorry for, <laughs> uh, making the episode so gloomy. I just- oh, I think they're so cute, those little mushroom girls, and I feel so bad. I feel so bad for letting them die. But anyway, we must move on, and we'll find more mushroom girls in the future. I'm sure if we look, we'll find some more. So, anyway, now that that's over with, uh, let's go work on this tower. This is probably gonna be the last thing we do this episode, because it's already so long. But yeah, um, let's see, where is the portal? I think it's like up here, right? Okay, so this is where the Twilight Forest portal is. Look at how pretty it is. Oh my gosh. Let's not go in there, not today. So I wanna make the tower probably like somewhere here. Um, maybe like, ooh, right here up on this hill. So then you can see it and you won't really know exactly where the Twilight Forest portal is. You're gonna have to look for it. I think this is gonna be pretty interesting. And let's go do a little bit of transformation here, but yeah, I'm gonna actually just let you guys watch this montage um, without commentary. So if you want to build with me, go ahead and yeah, let's see how this goes. Okay, so um, I was gathering wood, and look what I found! A mushroom girl! Hi! Oh, I think there was another- Oh, they're so cute! They are adorable, but I didn't bring any rotted flesh with me. I'm so sad. Oh, God damn it! I don't even know where I am. I'm a little bit lost, honestly. I think I'm just gonna have to go home and leave them. Wait, this is my torch trail to the house. So they're actually like really close. Oh word. Well, I'm just gonna go back then. <laughs> okay, they're actually like super close. 
You know, I was honestly expecting myself to get completely lost, but I'm gonna take all my Rod of Flesh and I'm just gonna tame one and then I'm never letting her leave my house. It must be like right here, right? Hello, Mushroom Girls? Where are you? I was just here. Oh my god, hi! Yay! Oh! Welcome to the family! You're so cute! Oh my god, she's like so chubby. She's like a little round chubby little mushroom. I really wonder what they're called. Okay, come on, let's go home! I need to take you home before you die. <laughs> okay, so like, those mandragoras, like the, the Gaia mandragoras, are evil. And they're mushroom girl killers. Oh my god, there's one right there! Oh my god, if she hits me, that mushroom girl's gonna attack her. Please do not attack her, please do not attack her, please do not attack her. Oh my god, we need to run, we need to run. I'm gonna get my freaking mushroom girl killed because of these stupid mandragoras. Oh god. Come on, mushroom girl. Come on, mushroom girl. Yes! Teleport! Yes, be safe. Come on. Okay, we're, I think we're safe. I'm gonna take her inside. I don't trust the outdoors anymore. I'm scared. Because those evil mandragoras are gonna be the death of everyone, including me. Come inside, girl. Hi! Oh, you're so adorable! She's very, very round. <laughs> She's so cute though. Well, if you guys want to leave a name suggestion for her, feel free to leave one in the comment section. Uh, I'm gonna just leave the naming of the Mushroom Girls up to you guys. <laughs> That'll be your specialty. Um, so let me go ahead and make her a bed or... I need to just like put her somewhere. Actually, wait, don't I have an extra one? Yes, I do. Okay. Mushroom Girl! Yay! Oh, Brown Mushroom Girl. Well, gal. I say girl, but they're gals. <laughs> Brown mushroom gal sitting on top of the stone. Oh, so cute! <laughs> She's so round! Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well, leave a new suggestion in the comments, guys. I'm going to continue working on the tower.
Alright guys, so I've just been working about on this tower for about an hour and this is what I finally came up with. So yeah, this is what I have so far. It's not done. I need to actually do the interior and probably add a little bit more detail on the outside, maybe some lights and stuff like that. But yeah, this took a while and um, it was pretty fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed that more like chill, quiet section with no commentary. I really like this room. This is like such a pretty view and you can just see everything so yeah i'm not really sure what to put in all of the rooms here but we're gonna we're gonna figure it out also don't look at all that dirt up there i really had to improvise with that roof but yeah we're gonna fix that and yeah i hope you guys like the tower um i'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future and please be sure to check out my etsy store if you're interested in that where i sell some of my art designs and stuff and yeah so thank you all for watching and i will see you all next time bye oh and stay tuned for a halloween episode